This will be a proof for the sine formula and cosine formula for a sum. So uh, perhaps you've seen them, namely um, the sine of a sum or the sine of alpha plus beta is sine alpha uh, cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. And the cosine of a sum, the cosine of alpha plus beta is cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Okay, so this video will be a proof of these two crazy looking formulas. Um, they are sort of hard to believe by just looking at them, um, so it's nice to, nice to see a proof. And to prove it, we're going to use uh, this diagram here. In fact, I, what I have drawn is I have drawn the angle alpha uh, and alpha plus beta and um, some auxiliary segments in there that are going to help us help us with this proof. So the first thing to notice is what is the sine of alpha plus beta. So the sine of alpha plus beta, this angle here, is BC over AB. That is the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's BC over AB. So I'm going to work with this BC over AB, which is the sine of the sum. So BC over AB is equal to, well, BC, this length right here, is the same as the length of this segment plus the length of this segment, namely DF plus BE. So this is the same as uh, DF plus EB over AB. Well, that's DF over AB plus EB over AB. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both of these ratios by 1, um, except I'm going to multiply this ratio by uh, AD over AD. So this is DF over AB times AD over AD plus, and then I'm going to multiply this one top and bottom by BD. So this is EB over AB times uh, BD over BD. Okay, so now it's just a little, just a little rearranging. Um, I can say that this is DF over AD times AD over AB. So this I just use the uh, commutative property of multiplication. So if I multiply these two numbers together, uh, you know, it's the same as just changing the order. And this is plus EB over BD uh, times BD over AB. So now, uh, now I have this product plus this product, and here we have to do a little bit of investigation. So, so let's have a look. What is DF over AD? DF over AD is exactly the sine of alpha. So the sine of alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. So df over ad, that's sine of alpha. So this is the sine of alpha. Now ad over ab, ad over ab, lo and behold, that's the cosine of beta. Yes, so I have this right triangle here. Uh, this is the uh, adjacent over the hypotenuse, that's cosine beta. So we can already see it sort of falling apart. So EB over BD. EB over BD. That one there. Okay, so that one takes a little bit of, little bit of thought there. So if this angle here is alpha, then this angle here is alpha. This angle here is alpha. Uh, that's by the alternate interior angle theorem. And then this angle here is, uh, you know, 90 minus alpha. Since this is a 90 degree angle and that one's alpha, so that one's 90 minus alpha. And since this is a right triangle here, the sum of the acute angle measures must be 90 since that's 90 already. 
And so th since that one's 90 minus alpha, well, that means that this one here is alpha. Yeah, so there's nothing better than, than angle chasing. So, uh, yeah, so we found that this angle here is alpha. Now, EB over BD, EB over BD is the cosine of alpha. Because here's a right triangle. So I have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That's uh, EB over BD. That's, that's cosine alpha. And BD over AB, BD over AB, I'm looking at this right triangle here, I have opposite over hypotenuse with respect to this angle beta, so that's sine beta. And that, that concludes the proof for the sum formula for sine. So the sine of alpha plus beta is sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. Good. So we can actually use the same picture to prove the uh, sum formula for cosine. And um, we'll start with the same sort of idea, namely that the cosine of alpha plus beta, the cosine of alpha plus beta is <clears throat> Well, it's AC over AB, right? So it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's AC over AB. AC over AB. Okay, that's where we're going to start. So we have AC over AB. AC, this length here, is AF minus CF. So I have, oh, I'm sorry, I can do one better than that. Because CF is the same as ED, I can say that uh, AC is AF minus ED. And this is all over uh, AB. Now, this is the same as AF over AB minus ED over AB. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, where I'm going to multiply each of these ratios by 1. Uh, so I'm going to have a, AF over AB times AD over AB minus... ED over AB times BD over BD. Okay. And we do the same process here where I use the commutative property. So I have uh, AF over AD times AD over AB minus ED over BD times B. D over AB, and now we just have to investigate this diagram. So AF over AD, AF over AD is the cosine of alpha. So this is cosine alpha. AD over AB, AD over AB is cosine beta. Minus ED over BD. ED over BD is the sine of alpha. So the sine of alpha is this length over that length, which is ED over BD. So this is sine alpha. And then BD over AB. Uh, BD over AB is the sine of beta. Opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of beta. And uh, right, so there's the proof for the sum formula for cosine. So the cosine of a sum is, so cosine of alpha plus beta is cosine alpha times cosine beta minus sine alpha times sine beta. Um, and it's just, it's, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. I love it. Uh, so this is, the thing I like about this is that it's not at all uh, uh, easily apparent. It's, it's sort of hidden in this, crazy complex uh, 
diagram, but but if you can understand this diagram and and the multitude of right triangles we have and chasing down that this angle here is alpha, uh, then it all then it all makes sense.